Hello and welcome to Credit Matters TV. My name is Matt Jones, Head of European Structured Finance Business Development. This week sees the Global ABS Conference take place in Barcelona and with me to discuss some of the topics on the agenda there is Andy South from our Global Fixed Income Research Group. Andy, welcome. Andy, there's a strong focus on new products and new securitisation technology this year, one notably being Italian non-performing loans. What do you think are going to be high on people's agendas? Right, I mean non-performing loans on banks' balance sheets is something that has come up as an issue generally with, with the banking system first recapitalising and then having to figure out how to deal with these uh, bad assets if you like. So in some countries we've seen a bad bank set up such as in Spain and Ireland. Uh, the Italian initiative which was launched earlier this year focuses more on the, a private sector the kind of solution to some extent So and securitization. So the Italian government have said well if a bank can securitize some of these non-performing loans then they will offer a guarantee on some of the senior tranches of that subject to certain conditions which obviously may make that securitization more attractive to investors and attractive to originators. We don't yet know if the economics of that are going to work for everybody involved and um, there haven't been any deals using that guarantee um, but we hear there is maybe at least one in the pipeline and so we will sort of watch that space going forward but it's certainly a topic which is going to be discussed at the conference. And I understand we published our request for comment um, for criteria for the asset class um, recently. That's right so on June the 7th we published a request for comment proposed criteria called Global Framework for Assessing Securitizations of Non-Performing Loans. So that outlines how we propose to analyse these kind of transactions generally, not just the Italian ones, mm -hmm. um, if we receive a request to do so. And what about any other asset classes you think will be uh, of interest this week? Well, the other key new asset class in Europe is really peer-to-peer -peer or marketplace lending back transactions. So this is an industry which has grown up over the past decade in the US and in the UK and in other parts of Europe. Um, those platforms initially brought together either domestic retail borrowers or corporate borrowers and put them together with an individual a lender or investor. And increasingly as the scale of that has grown, it's been institutional investors that have gone involved in that. And now they are starting to look at funding themselves or funding that kind of lending through securitization. And, and there have been a number of transactions in the US. We didn't have the first European one until this year, and it came in April. It was a transaction that we rated. Uh, we capped our ratings on it to no higher than the triple B level, because obviously that is a new industry. So in terms of operational risk considerations, the track record of the industry is pretty low. The, the, the marketplace, the depth of the marketplace for replacement services uh, we, we had a look at that as well and the regulatory and legal environment of that peer-to-peer -peer lending uh, arena. Uh, we, we assessed all those things and we ended up capping them at triple B but we did rate that transaction. Mm -hmm. Very good. And I guess no week uh, in Barcelona is ever complete without a healthy dose of discussion around regulatory developments. So what, what is the latest? Well that's right. So this time last year the industry effectively knew that something was coming and now in September 2015 we got that so this year they have something more tangible to talk about. Um, what came in September was the European Commission's STS initiative, the, uh, the idea that certain securitizations could be labelled simple, transparent and standardised, so STS, and then uh, importantly be given more preferential regulatory treatment uh, in the context of bank capital charges for example. So. There are a number of issues with the initial proposals. We've moved on from there. There have been counter proposals and, and some sort of movement. But essentially, it's now at the stage that it's with the European Parliament and it's going through the process there. Uh, and, and so clearly, this is going to be something which is going to be discussed on a number of panels in Barcelona. Great, Andy. It sounds like it's going to be a busy week. Thanks very much. And thank you for watching.